I've always said there was a man and a woman. That in the passenger window, I could see a black-haired woman, you know, and the car. Now, I forget now what it even was, you know. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just so curious on so many questions, like, how close was I? I mean, I had to do history of my life and lie detector tests and the whole thing. It's like, how close was I to the car? How close was I to, you know? I have, I have a million questions, but I'm just delighted. I, I know that when my wife called me and she said the FBI called them, I knew that she, the FBI wouldn't call her unless they were 90% or more sure. And then when my um, Terry called me, she had talked to JC on the phone and she had asked her questions. And she told me that JC remembers everything. So I'm assuming that when she walked in that police department, she just said, you know, I'm JC Lee Dugard, I'm this and this and this, and had all the right answers. I don't know if she was brainwashed. I don't know if the right to escape after 18 years. I don't know if she was walking around the street. I don't know if she was under, you know, locked up in key, under key for 18 years. I have no idea. And once you've been damaged that, that deep, it broke my marriage up. I mean, you know, it's like it's, I've gone through hell. I've, I mean, I'm a suspect. Up until yesterday, I was a suspect. You know, I'm, I'm the stepdad. I'm, you know, I'm not, I know that. I'm the last person to see her. You know, so I knew I was a suspect. Oh, it's, uh, it's payback. But I made Terry promise me years ago that we catch these people, that that woman, I want her to, the same sentence that guy gets. She's not going to testify against him and, and get a free ride. I made her promise me that whoever is involved, whoever knows about this, I want them all. Or turn my life upside down.